Commitment 2014 news. Tomorrow is the South Carolina primary, but there is a problem. Two of the candidates are virtually unknown. Why? With more, here's News 4's Nigel Robertson. Carol, it is not odd for someone who no one knows to run for office and spend that time trying to make sure people get to know them. But in tomorrow's primary, there are two candidates running for office who haven't campaigned, don't have a website, and practically no one knows who they are. The responsibility for the voter is to know the candidates. But in Tuesday's South Carolina primary, two candidates have made it impossible for you to know who they are. They have a right to do it. They're citizens. Anybody can run for office, pay the filing fee, and do it. In the Republican primary, Randall Young is running against incumbent Senator Tim Scott. But Randall Young hasn't been seen. We took a look at his filing papers. He lists a P.O. box and phone number that he doesn't answer. In fact, we are told he's been using a table at the McDonald's and Traveler's Rest as his campaign office. In the Democratic primary, Hosea Cleveland is running against Barbara Jo Mullis for the Congressional House District 3 seat. But like Young, he hasn't been seen either. No campaign events, no websites, and looking at his filing papers, he also lists a P.O. box instead of a home address. Now filing is with the election office. It's not with the political parties, and usually the political parties would say, who are you and why are you here? In fact, we contacted both political parties and neither know anything about the Republican Randall Young or Democrat Hosea Cleveland. Not all voters think they should be on the ballot. But if they haven't done anything, then they should be there. But by law, they are. And how far they go is up to you. So we also got our hands on the filing records. Both Young and Cleveland paid $3,480 just to get their names on the ballot. The poll opens tomorrow at 7 a.m. Michael. Anderson.